Diodes are semiconductor devices that allow current to flow in one direction while blocking it in the opposite direction. This happens due to the way they are doped, creating a region with an excess of electrons, n-type, and another with a deficit of electrons, called holes, p-type. When a voltage is applied in the forward direction, anode to cathode for typical diodes, it lowers the barrier between these regions, allowing current to flow. In reverse bias, the barrier increases, preventing significant current flow. Certainly, when a diode is forward biased, the positive terminal of the voltage source is connected to the p-type region, anode, and the negative terminal is connected to the n-type region, cathode. This forward bias reduces the potential barrier at the junction, allowing majority charge carriers, electrons in the n-type and holes in the p-type, to move across the junction, resulting in current flow. On the other hand, when a diode is reverse biased, the positive terminal of the voltage source is connected to the n-type region, anode, and the negative terminal is connected to the p-type region, cathode. This reverse bias increases the potential barrier, making it difficult for majority charge carriers to move across the junction. As a result, only a very small leakage current flows through the diode in reverse bias, typically on the order of nanoamperes to microamperes. The behavior of diodes in forward and reverse bias makes them useful in various electronic circuits, such as rectifiers, converting AC to DC, voltage regulators, and signal demodulation. Sure, let's delve a bit deeper into the functioning of diodes in both forward and reverse bias. 1. Forward Bias Operation when a diode is forward biased, the external voltage reduces the potential barrier across the junction. This reduction in barrier potential allows majority charge carriers, electrons in n-type and holes in p-type, to easily move across the junction. The flow of these charge carriers constitutes the forward current through the diode. The forward voltage drop across a diode is typically around 0.7 volts for silicon diodes and varies for other materials. Two. Reverse bias operation. In reverse bias, the external voltage increases the potential barrier at the junction. This increased barrier prevents majority charge carriers from crossing the junction, resulting in minimal current flow called the reverse saturation current. The reverse current is typically very small, on the order of nanoamperes to microamperes, due to minority carrier conduction and thermally generated carriers. The reverse breakdown voltage is the maximum reverse bias voltage a diode can withstand before entering breakdown and conducting heavily in reverse. The unique characteristics of diodes in forward and reverse bias make them essential components in electronic circuits for rectification, voltage regulation, signal processing, and protection against reverse voltage or overvoltage conditions. Certainly, here are some additional aspects regarding diode behavior in forward and reverse bias. 1. Forward bias characteristics. During forward bias, the diode exhibits low resistance, ideally zero resistance for an ideal diode, and allows current to flow easily in the forward direction. The current voltage IV relationship in forward bias follows the exponential diode equation. I equals IS left I frac V VT minus one right, where I is the diode current, IS is the reverse saturation current, V is the voltage across the diode, and VT is the thermal voltage, approximately 25 to 26 millivolts at room temperature. Two reverse bias characteristics. In reverse bias, the diode exhibits very high resistance, effectively blocking current flow in the reverse direction. The reverse current is primarily due to minority carriers, minority carrier diffusion, and thermally generated carriers, recombination, crossing the junction, leading to a small leakage current. The reverse breakdown voltage is the reverse bias voltage at which the diode breaks down and conducts heavily in the reverse direction. This breakdown can be either due to avalanche breakdown or Zener breakdown, depending on the diode type. 3. Diode Types and Applications Different types of diodes, such as rectifier diodes, Zener diodes, Schottky diodes, 
and light-emitting diodes, LEDs, are used in various applications based on their unique characteristics. Rectifier diodes are widely used in power supply circuits for converting AC to DC. Zener diodes are used for voltage regulation and as voltage reference sources. Schottky diodes are known for their fast switching speeds and low forward voltage drop, making them suitable for high frequency and low power applications. LEDs emit light when forward biased and find applications in lighting, displays, and indicators. Understanding diode behavior in different biasing conditions is fundamental for designing and analyzing electronic circuits effectively.